guys and welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing my first tutorial featuring my serger and I'm going to be doing two very similar projects. This is a breast pad which is used for breastfeeding. This has some flannel fabric and then a PUL backing fabric and then this is a cotton round which you can buy these over at the store you get a big stack of them but these are some reusable cotton rounds so you can use these for your facial toners or to wash your face with whatever you like to use so these and these are very similar have similar fabrics but are for two totally different things okay so these are super easy to make and all you need is three pieces of flannel and then one piece of a waterproof type material. This is PUL, and you can find the links for these types of fabrics over at my blog post, which will be linked below. But of course, um, you can use different types of fabric. Some people choose to do um, the flannel, and then they can use some quilt batting on the inside for extra absorbency. Or if you have a heavy flow, you could use a product called Zorb, which again will be linked over at that blog post. Um, but this is quite easy. I already have the flannel on hand. It's easy to work with. And then the POL can be found over at um, Joann's and Hobby Lobby, and there's that Babyville um, line that sells the POL. So that is, it has like a soft side and then a plasticky side. So this side would go against the bra, and then this side will go against the breast. So um, if you are worried about going through, you know, showing through your bra, um, you could use a white or a nude color if you can find it in the PUL. So I'm going to take my three pieces of flannel and I'm going to stack them. And then if you want to have the white showing or you can have the print, but it doesn't matter how they're stacked, but just make sure that if you want your print on the outside, have that on the outside. And then I'm gonna take my PUL and the plasticky side, I'm gonna have that on the inside, just so that the softer part can be against the bra. And then I'm just going to clip that into place just because the PUL does have a tendency to shift. And I'm gonna do this tutorial a little different. Um, I'm not in my regular sewing room because it's been taken over by renovation, um, but I am going to be working or talking my way through the sewing process because I am going to be using my serger, um, but you can do a regular zigzag stitch all the way around also, so you don't have to have a serger for this project, but it of course would make a nicer product if you were able to, if you're just making them for yourself then of course zigzag the day away. Okay, so I'm gonna change camera views and you guys can watch me surge a circle and I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so now I'm going to take my serger. So this is it, my beautiful new serger. Lifting the presser foot. And I'm gonna take off one of the clips. And I'm gonna do it from the back side just to make sure that the POL stays in place because it does also have a tendency to flip up. And I'm just going to place it into the machine and then put my presser foot down. And I'm gonna go really slow. Um, one, because you know I'm showing you guys. Two, because I'm new at this. And three, because it just gives you better control because when I do accidentally hammer down, it kind of just like takes off on me. So I'm just gonna slowly but carefully we're going to spin on this side and you might even want to put your fingers here too to help but you want to make sure that you don't want to cut off any of your fabric really it's okay if it just kind of does it a little bit but you want to make sure that you're on the fabric as much as possible so that we don't end up with loops hanging off the side of it so I'm just gonna start so with both hands, I'm just going to guide it. And then sometimes I will lift my presser foot to re-situate it. Okay. 
And if you start to cut off a little bit of fabric, just kind of try to get back on track. Because if I cut off the fabric, then it won't turn out to be a nice circle. So now I'm coming off a little more. I'm coming up to the same or the beginning and I'm just gonna go over it a little bit and then I'll veer off All right. so not perfect but not bad see as you can see there's a little bit of the loop coming off the edge isn't necessarily what I want but I mean I'm practicing and I'm getting better and these will be in your bra so you know you won't notice them you won't notice how it's not perfect but yeah these are so great to have I use these I bought them when I was breastfeeding um, so you can purchase them, of course, but if you have the fabric on hand, you know, just bake up a big stack and then, um, you know, then you have them and then you can put them in a mesh bag and throw them in the wash just so that you don't lose them all. And they're also a great little gift to give a new mom. Okay, so let's get into the cotton round tutorial. I made two different variations. One has a minky fabric with these little dots on it, and then the back has a flannel and then for this one it's just three layers of flannel so super easy to make. so here are my pieces for the minky version I'm going to be using two layers of the flannel and then one layer of the minky and if you're making this all with just flannel then just use three layers of the flannel which I found is perfect I tried two layers and I felt it was a little bit too thin and then I just cut out a three inch round circle and I just use this as my little template to cut out all of my little circles. So now I'm just going to layer them. And then I'm just going to put some clips just so that things don't shift around. Because if you are using the minky, minky can tend to shift a little bit. So I'm just going to do this just so that things don't slide around when I go to put it in the machine. So I am using the serger for this project. Um, if you don't have a serger, you can use a zigzag stitch on your regular sewing machine. We're just gonna go around the outside and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so for the makeup wipes, um, it's gonna be a little bit different just because it's a smaller circle. So you're gonna have to do a lot more adjusting in your machine. But again, we're just gonna start by putting it in the presser foot. And I'm gonna start now. For the smaller circles, I feel like I need to lift my presser foot and situ resituate um, like every inch, which is fine. It's up. To, it's just you know your comfortability. And then that's it. So you have a beautiful little minky on one side and then some flannel on the other side. You can use either or to wipe your face and it's just a nice little pad here. 
So here they are all ready to go. I have the breast pads ready as a gift for my friend and then I have these adorable little cotton rounds that I can use and put in my bathroom. And then for these, of course, um, get a mesh bag from the dollar store or of course you can make it yourself with one of my tutorials. Um, I will leave a link in the information icon for a mesh bag tutorial and then you can throw these right into your wash so that you can keep them contained, especially these little guys, they can easily get lost. So washing them in a mesh bag would be ideal. So don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and Facebook if you make these, I would love to see them. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye guys!